Good morning, humans. So I'm headed to, oh, I got water on my lip. I'm in South Africa, Cape Town specifically. Get into it. There's actually a view of Table Mountain right there. It's just very foggy out today. My Uber's gonna be here in one minute. So I'm gonna head down. As you can see, very foggy. Table Mountain is behind that. And Table Mountain Lion's Den or Lion's Head, I think it's Lion's Head. But yeah, I'm about to head down to my Uber. I'm going to the aquarium. I'm trying to do things that are indoors so I'm not outside in the gloomy weather. But that's about it. I'm gonna leave the window open so that there's fresh air. <laughs> anyway, come with me. So I'm also at the aquarium. It's a rainy day, so there's not really much to do. I'm gonna go get pizza from this place my friend was recommending, and then maybe get her some snacks. There are people right there, and I'm vlogging. But yeah, the, the aquarium was kind of boring, not gonna lie. I just came back from the convenience store. I got my friend some snacks. So she's from Botswana, and then she wants like, you know, the snacks they have in South Africa. I got fried rice, I got Debonair's pizza, and some snacks for myself to try. But it's really chill. I'm about to go to my room. Relax, hopefully they cleaned it. That's about it. Good morning, humans. Let me go by the light. Um, I'm headed to a pottery class. It's gloomy, look outside. So gloomy, you can see Lion's Head and there's Table Mountain behind that cloud. And then, I forgot the name of the other mountain right there, but yeah, I'm about to go out. Can I just say, I'm obsessed, obsessed with South African TikTok. Too good, absolutely too good. Um, and I saw a TikTok that said go to the pottery to take a pottery class, you know, things to do when it's rainy. I also saw one that was like go skating under, it's like in the basement of v &A Waterfront, um, I think Battery Park. I'm not really sure, but I was like, I don't really know how to skate that well, so I'm going to go to the pottery class. We're going to see how it goes. They also have food and drinks there, so hopefully I can meet people and be social. Cape Town as you know I just finished the pottery class that was really nice um, I can't even like leave it there for it to be glazed and like dried and stuff because I'm not gonna be here by the time it's done they said it takes seven business days so I was like oh I leave Friday like I can't do that so you know I've been thinking the birds our children make it noise I've been thinking that's kids the whole time but the views are insane like get into it like just the mountain ranges all around and I'm literally staring at Table Mountain right there. Um, there's Lion's Head and I'm currently at Camps Bay. 
Um, but yeah, this is interesting. I don't know if I'm supposed to enter over there. I'm gonna enter over there. It's kind of rainy. Um, my eyes are watering. I don't know why. I don't know if it's allergies, but it's like um, winter in South Africa. I don't know if it's comparable to winter in America, or at least winter in the DC metro area. Um, I doubt it. <laughs> it's more rainy and like gloomy. It's like spring type of weather and it's less cold. But today it's kind of chilly because of the wind. But I think that's from the ocean, like, you know, being close to the water. Because in Woodstock, where I'm staying, it isn't like that at all. Um, but look at the beach. Hey. Get into it. It's actually really pretty over here and quiet. to a seafood restaurant by the waterfront, v &A waterfront. My Uber's outside. Um, my makeup may be crazy right now. I'm actually wearing heels, but I'm just gonna quickly get seafood because I'm starving. Go down. But um, my phone storage is full, so we're gonna be vlogging on the GoPro. I feel like I had a dream about this. I feel like I had a dream about this moment. But anyway, I brought me a book because <laughs> that's what I do. Um, so I'm gonna leave when I go there. Hopefully it's like chill vibes, but we will see. Madam Joyce. I love her. 10 out of 10. I love her podcast. And whoever this host is, or the co-host, love him too. But I ordered calamari, right, on my way to go. Because I wanted some fried calamari. I'm in Cape Town. You know, the seafood's gonna bust. Love it for me. But I'm thinking it's gonna be fried and they're gonna put the sauce on the side. No, they pour the calamari in the sauce and it's like, not crispy. I'm actually kind of sad. I'm actually kind of sad. Because the only reason I ordered it, because I thought it was going to hit. But I don't like my calamari like this. But no complaints. I got some bread. And I have my leftover pasta. Ooh. I love him. Ah, this guy? What's his name? What's this man's name? His name, I think it's Stranger Things. Or no, his name is Poet. I don't know what his name is but this nigga 10 out of 10 would recommend like love him as a guest love him as a guest actually let me taste this calamari before i judge it but it feels very rubbery i'm not gonna lie it has a mashed potato taste like the flavor of the sauce reminds me of that buttery garlickiness of a bowl of mashed potatoes i basically went to this restaurant that TikTok recommended. Um, you know I love a good TikTok restaurant. Like all those people who send TikToks to their friends and they never go, that's not me. I'm gonna go to the restaurants. If it's not with everybody, I'm gonna find time to go on my own. Um, so I've just been eating this, watching Madam Joyce.
so I'm just back from District 6 Museum. Um, basically, I couldn't record in there, so I did take pictures. She told me I can do, um, I can take photos without like the flash on. So I'll put them here and any information that I think is important for you to know. But I really enjoyed that, mainly because ooh, I learned a lot about the experiences of black, black South Africans um, in like the 1900s. Um, and about the forced removal and the requirement to use um, these things called pass cards and like reference reference cards or reference sheets. Um, basically, they had to carry this around. It was kind of similar to what they did with the Jews in Germany, like how they had to carry around like their identification. It was kind of like that. Um, and it was just so fascinating, right? Because you got to see like artifacts and like evidence from those times it was just so fascinating and i think that in combination with what i already learned about apartheid and um about the experience of black south africans in addition to reading kafir boy by mark matabane it was just so i don't know it's i just think it made for a very fascinating and interesting experience for sure i learned so much and if you don't know, my favorite author is actually Mark Matuani. I love his book, of Your Boy. Uh, I met him in high school. I stand that man. I also wanted to visit Robbins Island. It's really nice out today. And it's funny because the day that it's beautiful out, I don't want to do much. Um, I would have gone to Robbins Island. However, I think getting a ticket was a bit difficult for today. And it requires like a boat ride. And I am prone to seasickness and like motion sickness. And I'm not really up for that. I already struggled with diarrhea in Ghana. I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna put myself through that. Also, I think I'm gonna order some KFC. I'm kinda craving it. I don't know if it's because of Ghana, how I ate KFC so many times. Like KFC is like the McDonald's of Ghana, in my opinion. Um, so I'm probably gonna order some. And then I'm also going to look at some restaurants online that I can order like more traditional South African foods because I wanted to do like a food tour. Um, but again, I'm booking everything super duper late. So finding availability is difficult with the weather and the rain that also contributes to it. Um, and thirdly, I would rather do it from like a restaurant as opposed to like a food tour where like it's one of, you know how they have some food tours where it's like, somebody a pillar in the community is making the food or something i don't want to risk it i just want to eat and not have to worry about diarrhea if that makes sense i'm really chatting shit but you know what i really need to do i need to make some tiktoks about my ghana experience because the uber wahala the hot girl summer a shower season wahala getting into random man's car i need to talk about it i'm headed to get ramen because i can't eat my room i don't want to be in there so So I'm back from <laughs> the restaurant to um, the hotel. My room was cleaned. I love coming back to a clean room. I smell that she used bleed who cleaned the tub. We love to see it. Um, so yeah, um, the ramen was actually the ramen was actually surprisingly really good. Like I don't know why I didn't expect ramen to be good, but it's like. It kind of makes sense because there's actually a substantial amount of Asian people in um, South Africa. Excuse me. So I really enjoyed the ramen. You can see the mountain. It's kind of a. It's kind of getting cloudy and gloomy. Like there's some like rain clouds over there. But aside from that, the weather has been really great today. Like surprisingly great. Even though I haven't done much. Um, but no, I was watching a TikTok. 
I don't know why this TikTok like just made me laugh or smile so much. But basically, the guy Nathan from Insecure was dancing with this girl and it was just something about that moment being captured on camera, just watching it. I was like, that is beautiful. The way they are connecting, the way they are looking into each other's eyes, I feel like I'm I'm intruding on a special moment. Sis said that he even posted it and made ah, and she shot her shot. Ah, the pride. The pride that I have for my sis. Anyway. I was literally eating my ramen, watching the video, like smiling so hard. I had to put my chopsticks down and everything just because of how much I loved it. Um, it just was so beautiful. Anyway, so yeah. Um, tonight, I have my zoo lesson later and then I'm probably just gonna call my friend and chill. Tomorrow I have my safari, I emailed them saying like, where do you want me to meet y'all? Because I booked transport, I think I need to call them, which I'm actually gonna do right now. And hopefully that can be sorted in a moment good evening humans i am in bed my voice is kind of going away because i've been talking for so many hours um you know after my ramen and everything i had a therapy session and yeah you know i'm still taking my therapy sessions while abroad um mainly because it's just a great place you know to unwind decompress and like you know have a safe space to talk about things um, so I had a therapy session, then I went and talked to my part-time therapist, my friend. Um, we discussed what I actually talked about in therapy, it was really good. Um, <laughs> you know, we kikied, we laughed, and then I called, well, some childhood friends called the group chat, and we group FaceTimed, and it was just, it was great hearing their stories, reconnecting, rekindling. Um, I just really enjoyed it. Like, I feel like that was a big highlight of my life, like, just hearing all their stories and, like, you know the progress and like what's going on like catching up like that was so beautiful um and literally my voice is tired as a result but tomorrow I'm actually headed to sleep soon um it's about like 9 15 ish and tomorrow I have a safari tour scheduled I booked transport I haven't sorted it out yet so I'm praying hopefully I'm able to get onto the bus and make it there um because it is three hours away it's two hours and 50 minutes and Ubering is like a thousand rand, which is, I think, $63. Um, and that's one way. So I would be paying, what, an extra... How much did I pay in rand? I paid nine forty, So I'll be paying double of what I paid for the transport. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for that tomorrow. Hopefully it works out. Because it's going to be my real official last day in um, South Africa. I also had a Zulu lesson lesson scheduled for tonight, um, but my teacher, she had to cancel because I think she was having technical difficulties, so um, I'll just probably reschedule another time. Like, I was just curious. I wanted to, like, kind of chill, but I still wanted to talk to, you know, somebody who's native and, you know, knows the language and, like, you know, hear their, their native tongue. Like, I want to hear that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm really, really interested in that um that or hausa um so yeah that's what i have going on this evening i'm gonna put my bonnet on i'm gonna rest um last thing in regards to the safari stuff right i had tried calling to like book the transport and everything when i tell you i'm really dumb i'm dumb it didn't occur to me that with south african numbers you have to press zero before you call so I've been trying to call this number that was like 2-1 and I forgot to put a zero so it wasn't working when I kept dialing on the hotel phone and then when I was dialing on my phone it wasn't working either. When I tell you right now, don't make the mistakes I make, okay? That was too easy. I was too dumb. I literally had to call down to the lobby and be like, hey, how do I do this? Like, how do I use the phone? Do I press nine or something? She's like, no, put zero in front of the number. So yeah, I felt like an idiot. I called. They didn't even answer. They were closed by the time I called, so... <laughs> Actually, I think, but I had a lot of fails today. I tried buying MTM minutes. Are minutes and airtime the same thing? Because why did I pay for 20 minutes, right? With $5, five grand with airtime, just for them to tell me I ain't got no minutes to make the call. Is airtime and minutes not the same thing? Do you need to have airtime in order to use your minutes? I'm confused. Somebody explain in the comments below. Um, Data in Africa is a different story is a different story. Anyway, good night. Good morning, humans. 
I am getting ready to head out. Um, I'm going to try to get to the safari pickup place. He said pickup is at 9.45. I'm going to arrive at their office at 9. That's when they open. To hopefully be able to catch a bus or something. I don't really know. Um, or just to call them and find out what I'm going to do. If, you know, I can't do the morning one, I want to do the afternoon. Um, but I'm about to go downstairs to breakfast. Hopefully get some food. See how far this place is from me so that I can pull up the time. And go about my day. Anyway, I'll let you guys know what I'm up to. Oh, this is my outfit. Get to the outfit. Very casual. Very simple. It's giving mom. It's giving teacher, I think. Um, and I like my hair up. I don't know. I just feel like I look very... I don't know why it's giving me... Um, my hair is giving me um, Hillary Banks. That's what the hair is giving me. Or no, it's from that movie. You know what? <laughs> I'm in the bus right now charging my phone i just bought a charger i went to the gas station we're stopped here got a charger for my phone i feel kind of awkward because i'm the only um black person and i'm also the only woman so yeah but they've been nice so no complaints that's a dog that's so cute anyway south africa is crazy beautiful um i've just been looking at the mountain ranges i'll put images of what i've seen but my god how would you ever want to leave like it's so beautiful when you wake up and you have to see like when you get to see like that many mountain ranges like get into it i even have my like south africa playlist i've been listening to some i'm a piano music i'm pretty sure it's pronounced another way but teach is on right but yeah i've been reading my goal is to finish this book because it's a three-hour drive so my goal is to finish the book two books by brene brown the Gifts and Imperfections, which I'm like 75% through. And then Darren Greatly, which I started on my vacation in the Bahamas and I never finished. So yeah, that's my plan. Anyway, I will see you guys later when I get to the reserve. I'm here at the game reserve. As you can see, it's beautiful. Very gorgeous. I'll show you the surrounding areas. We're about to have lunch. It's like 11.55 and I think at 1.15 we're gonna go to actually do the safari tour. Um, <laughs> I'm just out here watching TikTok so I'm not even gonna lie. I'm a little awkward. You know, usually I can bear being alone but sometimes it's like a little bit much, don't you think? So, I'm like vlogging. Oof, I'm not gonna lie. My awkwardness is on 10 right now. But, I'm excited though. I'm like, this is beautiful. I can't believe I'm in South Africa, so I'm gonna enjoy it. Our national antelope. Yeah. Our rugby team are named after them. 
The reason why they are called spring buck is they will make all four legs stiff and they will spring, which are called pronk. So they can do that for 1.5 Ostrich and wildebeest. Canoe. Like myself, it's a black wildebeest or white and canoe. why zebras always stay in a group so whenever they come across any predator they run to each other and the stripes are dazzling mm. so they confuse them identification they are just like our humans each one does have its own unique stripe or pattern so whenever there's a pregnant female and she wants to give birth I is doing the mating dance or is a female with them so it might be mating standing right there. A lion, buffalo will win. No. Wow. It needs to be a few lions to take down one buffalo. So even whenever there's, there's babies involved, they don't take off even if it's a tribe of lions. They will come and try and rescue the baby. So they are very aggressive. The reason why they're so dangerous is you can see the big horn and right between the horn, it's called a bulletproof boss. So which are protecting the brain, that's why they can run full speed in towards anything, it won't damage the brain.
morning humans i'm back from my excursion to the safari 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 really enjoyed myself we stopped at the gas station so i used the bathroom and i bought a kinder bueno let's go back to my room pack up call my friend and then go to the grocery store supermarket so i can get some snacks to bring back to america and hopefully buy some souvenirs but we'll see Can I just say that I'm starving? It's 7.25, I got food, and I also went to the grocery store. I got KFC, and then I went to Spar, because like I said, I'm bringing stuff back for people in America. Um, and they want, you know, like food, and things that you can't find there. So like custard, and beet bix even though I feel like I've seen that in America, or maybe I saw it in Ghana, um, and like, you know, Cadbury and even though I've definitely seen Cadbury a little bit like but not the Cadbury that like I, I don't feel like I've seen a plethora of Cadbury products um you know like Arrow and things like that so I did that I'm just eating KFC in every country is different and I didn't know that well I knew that but I didn't know that if that made sense like I thought they had standard things in all countries like you know the biscuit the fries the chicken I saw uh, KFC South Africa's menu. They have pop on their menu. That's so unique. I just I just never thought to eat pop with chicken. Like, and it wasn't in like in Ghana they had shito with, you know, KFC. So it's like it's fascinating what you find. Plus, um, you know, it was interesting. The fries are also different. All oh, my friends calling. They have like seasoning on them, and they're good. So, I feel like KFC outside of America has been busting. Or maybe I'm just hungry. But, that's what I have going on. Anyway, I'm going to answer my friend's call. Bye. And now I look like I'm somebody's wife. Now I look like... Where is my bride price?